Who else is good in the... Right Pauline now? Kale. Yeah. She's never said a good thing about me yet. But that you like her. Dirty old broad. <laughs> Since 1968, Pauline Kael has written film criticism for The New Yorker. I understood her voice, and I, and I related to her voice, even when I disagreed with her. We grew up reading Pauline Kael. She seemed to notice everything. There is a sense that people really don't know what they believe in anymore. She turned the movie review into this expressive vehicle. It was as expressive as the short story or the sonnet. She said, I know that some of my reviews have sent people to bed for two weeks. Pretty sharp tuned. Always referred to as that ghastly woman. And there's very few critics who have the guts to go out there and write an honest review of a bad movie. She refused to be intimidated. Any woman in that position is going to uh, collect a lot of the animosity and really craziness that's out there. There's tremendous hatred of women. The, the real hate mail is for men, and it is vicious. And there are a great many critics who are just trying to get through the day, who know they're second rate and who are scared of their editors and scared of their readers and scared of the movie companies. If you're good enough, then you bring something to a magazine or a newspaper, you bring it readers, and so you can hold your own judgment. If you're not good enough, then you're at the mercy of everybody and you have to give in. And so the point would be really to develop more courage. But she's probably the most qualified critic in the world because she cares about film and those that are involved in it.